Prostate. The prostate is just a walnut-sized organ between the bladder and the urine and, and to the outside. Uh, it provides nutrients to the sperm in young men and provides enzymes to agitate sperm. In older men, it just causes problems. And prostate cancer is <laughs> one of those problems. <laughs> so the only way to detect prostate cancer is with a digital rectal examination. And that's where the physician puts his finger inside of the rectum and takes a feel of the prostate. The physician puts his finger inside of the rectum and take a feel of the prostate. But the physician puts his finger inside of the rectum and take a feel of the prostate. That will not change your sexual orientation. It only takes one minute. <laughs> it's a quick, easy test. minute to do the test and that, that's it. But you also have to have a prosthetic specific antigen blood test, simple blood test. You just can't have one, you have to have both to correlate the two. Uh, they, are, they are not perfect tests, the digital record examination is not a perfect test, and the PSA is not a perfect test, but that's the best thing we have. And each man, each man starting at 40 years of age, if you're African American, should have these tests at least once a year, starting at 40 years of age. Or if you're um, Caucasian, you should start about 50 years of age. If you have a family history of prostate cancer, then you should start at 40 years of age. So it's important to encourage your family members, the men in your family, to have this test. Excellent treatment for prostate cancer. If we detect prostate cancer early, there's a 95% cure rate for prostate cancer. If we detect it early, um, of course, if we detect it late, there's still a treatment, but the treatment is not curative. So that's why it's so important to catch, uh, detect this prostate cancer early. So the key, the key points is prostate cancer is very common, number one leading cause of cancer, the second leading cause of cancer death in the country, African Americans have the highest incidence in the world, there's a strong family history, and there's a lot of circumstantial evidence to suggest that the fats in our diet contributes to prostate cancer. Thank you. My name is Jim West, and I'm a 10-year survivor of prostate cancer. You're African-American male, you're over 35, don't leave here today without being screened. Early detection is so very important. Briefly, my personal case history, but for three years I had gone to be tested and I only had the glove finger test. In year number four, I asked to have the PSA because I was having severe lower back and thigh pain. And I ended up with a PSA of 22. 
when four was a danger point. We always have blood drawn for the PSA, and then you go in and see the doctor who does the, the old glove finger method. And what that does, both together, gives one a better understanding of what's going on in one's body. One on its own or without the other really doesn't tell you much. It is important that when you go to see your caregiver that you ask for both of these tests. For 10 years I've been on the road speaking about this disease. It is my duty to share with the men in my community. simple blood test, as simple as the test being blood being drawn for diabetes, cholesterol or whatever. Nothing different. Simple blood test. And it is so important that we have this as part of the test. And um, it is not a hundred percent. You know, um, there are some false positive, false negatives, but what balances that out is the glove finger test. And together if we have anything over four, or today CDC is saying 2.5. So if we have anything over 2.5, it's a must that you go on and uh, follow up with biopsies or something of that nature. One of the gentlemen here had had five biopsies before they actually find his cancer. His PSA kept rising, so it was known that there was a problem. But he had to have five biopsies before we were able to find out where the test is. Why do you think it's important to come out here and have such a screening? I think it's important. They say one out of six is a conservative estimate. Uh, we were talking, I've heard one out of two men in their lifetime will get prostate cancer. So it's important for our friends, our families, and, and our loved ones that we take care of ourselves. As, as men, we have a responsibility to step up and take care of your family. <laughs> it's, my, my advice to guys would be to just, um, it, it's, it's painless, it's, it's minutes out of your life. To, for the prevention or the or the detection, and and God forbid the the worst that you you have it, but the early detection is the the key to getting it taken care of before it you know before it gets out of hand. It'd be a lot easier to detect it earlier and take care of it fast early than it would be to have it go on and on and on and then find it after it's too late. I had a friend who I worked with who had it, and um, he they found it pretty early, but it was still couple times a week going down and getting uh, chemotherapy and, and it took a lot out of him. He was, he was ready for retirement and, and it, was, it was a lot out of him. Thank God he found it early enough and he survived it. So he, he, he went on to live for many more years now. <laughs>